They came to the 91X studio because Ballast Point and 91X are great local iconic San Diego brands and we decided to team up. We were there to decorate the studio. We're super stoked to have them as a supporting sponsor. So we came in with a bunch of gear. Decorated the studio with all the logos and all the accoutrement. I wasn't quite ready for the amount of stuff that was on the walls. Kind of looked like a, my old college apartment where you have everything is covered in wall posters. This giant bottle cap, this is Ballast Point on it. A gigantic bottle cap? And then it's got the Ballast Point logo on it. It's now right behind me in the 91X studio. It's huge, so it was really cool putting that up on the wall. Ballast Point Brewing Company is celebrating their 25th anniversary this year. We've been in San Diego brewing up some liquid love for 25 years. They are the pros, they are the experts. That's why they've been doing it this long. So the collaboration came about because we kind of popped it on them. The but but to be honest, we were sort of thinking about it for a long time. Why not brew a beer with 91X? Danielle was the one who had the guts to bring it up on the air. I really want a 91X beer. Danielle brings up like, let's make a beer. It's something that I've like brought up in the past and it just <laughs> hasn't really happened. And I think that we should make a beer with Ballast Point. If I don't ask, how are they gonna know that I wanna make a beer with them? Do I have to go talk to the bosses first or can we just do this? <laughs> kind of put them in this spot where they're like, well, what are you gonna do, say no? What's the worst can happen? They're gonna say no. I wanna come make a beer at Ballast Point. How many Point. beers have you brewed? Uh, I, there's many pictures of me putting some, dumping the hops in. Have you been involved in the recipe? Like, No, I haven't. I mm, love that, though. That would be a good start. Oh. And then a light bulb goes on, and I'm like, yeah, why don't we make a beer? It's a great idea. It's all about putting it on the calendar. Oh. Yeah, first step, let's get it on the calendar. Pen all it, right, let's raise, it in. let's raise a glass. We're going to be together and do a beer? There's nothing cooler, dude. It's a perfect partnership. I'm so stoked that they're fans of 91X and that they wanted to do it with us. They got to come down. We gotta rub and sniff some hops. There's all of the tanks where all the beer is being made. Everybody went back in the in the brewing area and we, I pulled some hops out of the cold box. Thinking, man, I am so not qualified to be here. Uh, Chris brought out all these different hops for us to break up and smell. They're getting all the ingredients in our face. They're showing us the process. It's a beautiful moment. I just know when I like something, I like something, but I'm not really good at putting that into words. What kind of style are we gonna make? What's gonna go in it? What are the hops? What is the malt profile? How are we gonna get this done? Okay, all these ideas, what's gonna happen? Because I'm not really a brewer. I'm a beer fan. I know just enough about beer to be dangerous. We are a bunch of DJs. We're not brewers. We don't know how to do this, dude. My biggest concern was we don't know what we're doing. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a chemist. I failed chemistry. We take a lot of pride in what we make here, so uh, there was, I had a lot of faith that we were gonna be able to execute a beer that everybody would really like. We're trained professionals down here. We make recipes for a living, so uh, having them just pick the ingredients and make it their beer was probably the most important thing to us. We wanted something that you could crush on a beautiful sunny San Diego day and maybe if you're brave have more than one. We arrived at the Pale Ale because it is just this perfect place in between light easy drinking and this this need for hops. There's just a little touch of mosaic but the cashmere is my favorite flavor that pokes through. It wasn't just a pale ale but also wasn't an IPA. We wanted something in between and that's where we landed on the XPA, the extra pale ale and I gotta tell you we're stoked about it. It almost seems like a natural conclusion right? The 91X extra pale ale. We had everybody down and, and nobody had actually tried the beer yet. Uh, everybody knew that it was done. Uh, so we took a keg out of, the, out of our cold box. It isn't on tap yet. Chris goes, fills up glasses for us, puts them down, and we all decide we're going to take the very first sip all together. And touchdown. The minute that that liquid hit my lips, I knew this was exactly the beer that we needed for 91X. Slam dunk, home run, this is the beer. If you ever wanted to know what all of the crazy people at 91X would think of if you gave them an opportunity to make a beer, here it is. I'm proud of the finished product. I'm proud of the beer. It's tasty and delicious, but I'm more proud that we're forging a relationship with 91X. Before it's gone, you gotta come in and have one of these at the Ballast Point Brewing Company. Come on in, taste your beer. I was worried I would, if I would like it or not. This is amazing. I would have never been able to predict what this would have come out like. And I actually love this beer. It's completely crushable. This is a perfect balance. It's got a little bit of bite at the end, but it makes you want to continue to drink more and more. Brewers are like my superheroes, right? Like they are making something nobody else can do, and we got to be a part of that. Now that this beer is brewed, you can get it at Miramar, our big uh, home base facility. 
you can get it down at Little Italy at the R&D Brew Pub where it was brewed and the original homebrew mart over in Linda Vista that's been going strong for 29 years.